what, what child's artist is this? This is that dude, Cleveland. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is that guy, oh, Bluster yeah. Child. Oh, yeah, this is dope. Let's talk about Dream Energizer. You know, you oh, got yeah. a few things. You know, let's, let's get let's, let's get into some of your stuff. Dream Energizer Volume. So that's that's your copy. I okay, brought that for you. you. Um, yeah, and I mean, basically, Dream Energizer Volume 1 is, uh, is my book uh, that I put out for the Dream Support Network. Um, every few days, I post up a Dream Energizer online on my website, and then, and then I post it to Facebook. And I was thinking that it might be a good idea to create a book so that people will be able to have the Dream Energizers in their hands. Right. All of them especially, in their hands. Especially with us old school cats like me, you know. Right. You know, you don't see me tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> so you got this one, yep. Dream Energizers, because I, I, I know last year, and I, I, I've been telling quite a few folks to, you know, as a way to try to, you know, support you and your efforts, and, but saying that, hey, my man did, and you, as, as a person that does marketing and street, street team stuff and, right. and been around folks have been doing a lot of creative stuff I was like wow man and, and being a cat that used to work on a ding dong truck back when I was a kid <laughs> yeah. you know for you to go around and give away free ice cream yes you know and, and people have to tell you your dream and then watching the video clip of what you did and I, I wanted to see the whole thing right you know but I just thought that was an amazing project yes and kudos to you for coming up with that thank you thank you, you yeah know. The great thing about that event is like like you said, it wasn't I wasn't really promoting anything. I was just trying to get people to tell me their dreams. It was, you know, our, our organization, the Dream Support Network. Um, and I was thinking about like how can I inspire some people? And I mean I said, I'm gonna get an ice cream truck, I'm gonna get some ice cream and I'm gonna give it away for free and we're gonna call it ice cream for a dream. And I mean, like you said, the video shows it all. It's just really good and they can go on my website and check it out if they want to. Uh, okay. The Dream Support Network dot com and check out the videos that we have posted for Ice Cream for a Dream. It was just amazing to me seeing the clip when um, you yeah, did the kids and you were in the um, in the hood and in some of the other parks and seeing the little black kids and what their dreams were. Right. And then going down to the science center and seeing what the little white kids' dreams were. That's right. And the, the stark contradiction of parents and, and and I was like, wow, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But there is hope. Some, some, there's hope, but it's like, wow, something's got to be done. No, but see, you got it. Like, one of the things, I just did a, um ice cream for a dream maybe like three weeks ago at a school in Hartford called Jamoki Academy. Okay. And really at Jamoki school. Academy, it's the top school in, in, in Connecticut, one of the top schools in Connecticut. These young people, uh, it was probably 90% African American. Man, they blew my mind. Every kid, you know, they were going to Brown University, Harvard, Yale. And then their dreams were things like, I want to I wanna learn how to fly an airplane. I want to, you know, one kid said, I would like to experience New York City. And I was saying to myself, I could actually take this kid and go do that. Right. And I mean, these kids were, but they were very inspirational. They were so positive. Um, that, there's a video of that on, okay. on my website, too. I videotape everything. I mean, right. I'm going to get this video right here <laughs> and put it on my website if I can get a hold of it. It's like, yo, we need to bring that energy back to Springfield. And I, I think with, with this, you know, with ice cream, we, we can definitely do that. I, I know there's going to be a lot of people now that are like, oh, you need to bring that to my program. So if you have a program around here, that's right. Uh, contact me. Yep. Um, I know there's a lot of folks who work with youth. And let's, let's figure out what we can do to energize our youth this, this summer. I mean, today the weather's been perfect. We can drive around the parks. I'm seeing kids out. I'm just hoping that everybody just keeps calm this summer. That's right. We don't have any, any crazy things. But what are some of the other things that you got going on? Because you got so much going on. Well, you know, you I... Know, you got 50 jobs. I got... Yeah, well, I, I also own a company in Connecticut called My People Clinical Services. And, um, you know, what we do is we provide... Well our, well, our mission is to enable my people to help your people so our people will succeed. We want to see people succeed in their right. lives. So we do individual therapy, family therapy, mentoring, uh, fatherhood supervised visits, supportive living, and um, we, we, we really want to uh, get our agency in, to the point where we're really empowering people, we're supporting them, and they're getting them to the point where they can rebuild themselves, where they okay. take the skills that we've taught them and work with them on, where they can they say, I'm going to be a better parent, I'm going to be a better kid, you know, and so that's, that's my people. And then, um, oh, I got my new coloring book. My dad's a black superhero. Okay. And so, so that, that's another gift for you I brought. And um, my dad's a black superhero is, is based off of one of my poems that I that I did a few years ago. Um, the poem was "I'm a black superhero," but I I, I decided to do the coloring book from a, a kid's perspective, and it's it's basically just talking about um, a, a African American, a black father, um, and uh, the things that he does with his children. 
You know, he cooks breakfast, he packs lunch, he changes diapers, but not that much. He helps with homework, packs them up. Well, I had, I had to do a lot of diapers, man. Yeah, hey, not, not me. So, <laughs> so it's a, a it's a good diapers, story, man. but really I did it as a coloring book so that a father could sit down with their children and color together. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, people forget that being a father is more than, yeah, it's more than just, um... Just you know, bringing home the bacon in 2013. You right. gotta play with your kids and do stuff and teach them and be there for them. So hey, you gotta be more nurturing. I mean, you know, right. I mean, a lot of us didn't have that uh, coming up. That's um, right. I know I didn't. You know, uh, pops and mom divorced early, so mm. we didn't have that. So you know, you, you know, you had the extended family and uncles. They, they were your male role models. Right. Um, it's what else you got going on, man? Because you, you got a lot of stuff. Man. I, don't well, we can, I don't know if we can cover everything that you, you got can, going on. You can cover. We got a kickball. We got a kickball jamboree coming up on June 29th. Uh, we're gonna. We're, it's a, it's gonna be. It's based off a of dreamership. So we're doing a, a dreamership, not a scholarship, but a dreamership. Okay. We're trying to raise a thousand dollars to give to a dream chaser, right? So we're gonna be putting out on Facebook. You should check the Dream Support Network page in the next couple of days. We'll be putting out the scholarship or the dreamership information and you can nominate any dream chaser that you would like. And then um, we're gonna raise the money through our, our kickball jamboree um, that we're gonna be having on June 29th. I love the game of kickball. So we're trying to get 10 teams together and each team will will put in 150 bucks. We'll take the money from the, the teams. We'll give that to the scholarship. And, and we're going to have um, bouncy houses. We're going to have barbecue. It's going to be a whole big like jamboree out there. It's going to be good fun. And so, yeah, I mean, I do have a lot going on. Father's Day, we're going to be doing a Father's Day brunch. You know, okay. my people will sponsor that. Um, what else? In the next two years... I'm going to be on television, so you guys should get to know me now because, you know, in the next two years I'm going to be on TV because I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my, uh, the things I learned from hosting Taste Maker's Soul and, and you know, uh, all the stuff that I'm doing out in the community and somebody's going to see me and they're going to say, man, that's a good looking young man. Man, you know what we should do? We should give him a show. And so I'm going to get a show and bang, I'm on TV. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get a radio program up here on uh, WTCC. So let's go to that. This one, I'm a what? We're going to. Mira, Brother Abdul is going to be here for a little while longer. 413-736-2781 if you want to talk to him. Or you can hit him on Facebook. But you can talk to him live right now. Call him. Because we want people to partner with, you know, because, you know, like community organizations here in Springfield can partner with organizations in Connecticut and cross-promote and cross-work with each other. It would be an amazing thing to happen. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Let me say this before you go to the song. If you're going to call in, why don't you call in and tell us your dream? Like, I, I would love to hear a dream. And then I'll come back to Springfield and I, I'll get you some ice cream. I mean, if that's what you want. But, I'm, I mean, call in and tell us your dream. How about that? That's my whole show. What is your dream? That's it. <laughs> I know all I want to talk about it for an hour. That's all right. <laughs> every week. That's all right, though, man. That's all right. Every, every, week. every week. Call in. Tell me your dream. Tell me what you want to do. How are we going to make your dream become reality? Let's talk Let's talk about that. The Dream Chaser Show. Every every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock on WTCC with your host, Dream Chaser number one. Because I have a pair of tickets to see Bill Bellamy oh. at the Hookie Lao. I forgot all about that. Yeah. I have a pair of tickets for that. So the person that calls up, with the best dream. Is there such thing as a best dream? I don't, I don't know. No there's, no, there's no real best dream. The person that's most passionate about their dream. Yeah, and they can really go in on it. They should get those tickets. Right. They can get those tickets. So and if not, I'll take them because I'm very passionate <laughs> about my dream. I can talk about my dream right now. You know? Well, you, you, can't, you can't get the tickets because oh, you're here. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> you, you about to maybe be on staff. So, you can't. Staff can't win the tickets. Can't win the tickets. You can't win the tickets. So, see, that, that cuts that dream down. Jeez. <laughs> so, 413-736-2781. First person that, that can show us a lot of passion about whatever their dream is. We got a pair of tickets for you to see Bill Bellamy. TCC. Hey, this is Blanche Jackson Hill. Who am I speaking with, Jane? Yes, Blanche. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, I made a pledge last week. Yes, ma'am. I got a package. I got a package of music for you at my house for you. Oh, that's that's cool. Well, I'm going to tell you what my dream is. Okay. <laughs> well, my dream is for well, black people, everybody, but especially black people, to learn about finances and start managing their money, and um. You know, for us to just prosper because we're more knowledgeable. Well, that's why you wrote a book on it, right? That's that's why I wrote a book. My my <laughs> points deep. are oh, very simple. Good. Everybody can use them. Very very simple. What are the points? All right. Uh, Brother Abdul wants to know what the points are. 
But, um, you know, just save your change. Hmm. Um, have a vacation account so that when you go on vacation in the summertime, you're not, you know, putting all your um, your fun on a credit card. You can actually pay for it. Mm-hmm. So if you only save up $250, that's what you spent. That's right. If you okay. save up $1,000, that's what you spent. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with that because uh, me and my and wife, we, we, we like trips on layaway. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And, and I think one of my, the, the most important thing that I want people to do is just start talking about money. And I tell people, I want to hear how much or how little you make because you, we can all manage what we've got. So just start talking about money, start talking about finances, and because the more we talk, the more we're going to learn. I like okay, that. I like that. 